and hey we're guys. live. Hey, I'm AJ. Hi, I'm Brett. We're from the New Comedy School, which airs right after the Goldbergs on Wednesdays on ABC. We're here at the ABC's TCA events. It's a lot of letters. <laughs> and we've just been informed that we're being given a pop quiz right here. So let's see how we do. It's true. It okay, is. we're going to go back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does the word modicum mean? <laughs> a, small portion. B, middle path. Or C, daily dosage. I'm going to say middle path because it was B and it's right in the middle. <laughs> oh, that's a, okay. I'm going to go with A, small portion. Do we get the answers? A. Oh, yeah, what? Nailed it. Okay. Okay, you're number two. Name a comedy by William Shakespeare. Um, nothing comes to mind. <laughs> that's not my answer. Did he make but... comedies? Oh. Uh... <laughs> The one with the jester in it. We're going to go with uh, phone a friend. Um, is that not an option? I think we need to see the answer on this one. Uh, any of the following are acceptable. Oh. Wow, there's like Oh, there's 7, a lot. <laughs> okay. Okay, Merchant of Venice, Merry Wives of Windsor, Comedy Midsummer of Night's Dream. Oh, my gosh. Taming there's so of the many. Shrew. Tempest? The Two Gentlemen of Verona. Winter's Tale. Winter's Tale. I thought that was a movie with Jennifer Lawrence. That's Winter's Phone. Oh. Okay, well, we did not nail that one. Sorry. Okay. In the following sentence... Which word is an adjective? Schooled is a hilarious new comedy, and Eric binge-watched it swiftly. Which one is an adjective? Well, come on. I forgot what an adjective is. <laughs> I know a verb is like to punch. By the way, he plays an English teacher on our show. Um, hilarious. Hilarious is an adjective. Yeah. Yes, you're right. He knows this. Trick question. There are two adjectives. There are. It. Hilarious and new. And new. I was going to say new. I actually wasn't going to say new. No. I wasn't either. But, <laughs> but there are two there. Okay, well, I, we got half the answer right. Okay. This is the music section, okay, let me so ask I should you do then. okay in this. Okay. okay. Name the key in the middle of the piano. C. Middle C. Middle C. That's, you're right. Literally middle C. Okay, ask me this one. Okay. In musical terms, what is the opposite of flat? Sharp. Nailed it. Oh, wow. What term is used for a set of notes, two or more, played together? Right? I'm actually not sure. What term is used for a set of notes? Set of notes, two or more. Oh, a chord. Right, right? C-H-O-R-D. Yeah. I Perfect. got the H in there, too. He spelled it right. Okay. okay, this is our little history section. Play along if you're watching at home. Oh, God. I'm Canadian. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he is. I don't know anything about this. Which president led the American Revolution? Tim Allen. Um, Tim, uh, what's that one um, president? Theodore Roosevelt? Theodore Roosevelt. Um, Lincoln. Well, George Washington. Was, yep, that's correct. Good job. I'm very proud of us. Okay, ready? The first successful printing press was developed by this man, Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin, Johannes Gutenberg, or Sir Isaac Newton. The printer. The printing press. Ben, uh, jo I'm pretty Johannes sure it's Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Yes. You're right. You know a lot. Well, okay, you know, let me ask you this one. on TV. <laughs> what a, what a hi I almost didn't say that. What do hieroglyphics refer to? A, another name for the rulers of Egypt. B, buildings with sides shaped like triangles. Huh. C, belief in an afterlife. D, ancient Egyptian picture writing. D. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Ancient right. Egyptian picture writing. Okay. Okay, we're going to go on to sports, which we really need Meller for something like this. So where's <laughs> really? Brian Callen? But we're we'll on our own. What sport does the butterfly technique belong to? Swimming. Oh, yep. nailed it. Uh, in baseball, the designated hitter bats instead of the A, catcher, B, left fielder, or C, pitcher. Designated hitter? Yes. Does that mean the chosen one? No. What's the designated mean? The designate, designated like, driver, so the guy that's not drunk. <laughs> okay. The, the player that's not drunk that day okay. is the hitter, and what's the opposite? The he, opposite he, would be the he pitcher. He bats instead of the, exactly. The pitcher. So C. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nailed it. Okay, okay you asked me this one. Which of the following is not an Olympic sport? Basketball? Cricket or badminton? I'm pretty sure it's badminton. badminton. But I love how you said it. You say badminton? Yeah, you said badminton. That's what I say. Yeah, it's badminton. Is badminton? Pretty sure. I, I basketball really? is basketball is um, an Olympic sport, right? It's got to be C. But hold on. I know on. cricket. Is it really badminton? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it, that, you say that second half silent. I've been calling you don't it go badminton, badminton my no. whole entire life. Well. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, it's he's not. Okay. So C. Ah! It's cricket. It's cricket. I could have sworn cricket was an Olympic sport. Is I don't know anything about sports. <laughs> That's all right. You I feel didn't know that basketball round. was in the Olympics. I, I didn't either. Dope sport. I didn't either. That one was hard. Okay. Okay, we're gonna move on to science, which scares oh, me. Great. 
Of the following, which is a noble gas? Carbon dioxide, nitrogen, or argon? Fart knockers. <laughs> um, uh, which is a noble gas? So like a brave, let's see. <laughs> a noble gas. Well, argon sounds like, yeah. It sounds like a brave gas. Argon's like, uh, okay, let's do argon. I actually think C is the answer, but not based on It's what, wrong! Yeah, it is, Just because of the name. not the way he said it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you this one. How many minutes are in a year? 525,600 seconds. 525,600 minutes? How did you do that? I knew it because the song. Oh. That's awesome. Was that live? Was that all live? Wow. Oh my gosh, thanks guys. Terrifying. Well, that's a great way to promote our rent themed episode airing Wednesday, February 13th. That's After the Goldbergs on ABC. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and his birthday's the next day. My birthday's February 14th. Bye. <laughs>